All right, so we're gonna talk about one of the most basic techniques on Eternal Darkness, which is fast pickups. For starters, a pickup is when you grab an item. So, let me kill some of these ones. So, you see there's an item here, and you can grab it if you examine it. So you go into examine, then detail, and then you grab the thing. But the thing is, you see, there's this little pan animation here, right? When the camera is panning during these frames, you actually cannot press detail. Okay? You gotta wait until you see the B prompt on the corner. You see, that's a lot of frames. That like the first or second frame where I can press the thing. Now, there is something we call fast pickup, which is when camera pan doesn't happen, you get instant access to this. You know, it happens with it's like three frames and you instantly look at it. There's no camera pan. How do we do this? So, you see, the camera is panning with a certain trajectory, right? So, what we want to do is we want to get in the way of that trajectory. We want to put something. Most of the time, it's going to be ourselves. Some other times, it might be an enemy. So, if you're in the way of the camera, the camera will instantly snap into the item. So, that's like the general idea. And another thing that is kind of important is that you cannot grab items if you're running, okay? You can grab items uh, when you're sneaking, when you're walking, and when you're like just standing up. But if you're running, you won't see the V prompt, okay? So if you press B, nothing will happen, okay? Basically what I'm trying to say is that when you are gonna grab an item, you need to stop. And one way to stop is just let down the L button to stop running. But there's a faster way to stop. If you watch my speed storage video, you already know this. If you're running and you press R, you do an instant stop and you preserve your speed. So then when you leave target, you're gonna start with the same speed. So this is like the way to go. You're running towards this, you do an instant stop and then you can press B immediately. And that's way better than just stopping, okay? So do an instant stop with R, it's way better. So those two things are the important things. One, stopping with R, and the other is finding the good angle from where you can get the item. So with that, let's take a look at some items. So this is the first one, of course. Uh, you're running here, and this is the angle you want. This is the place you wanna be for this fast pickup, more or less. You don't wanna go too far, otherwise you're gonna miss it. The next one is the cells I pick up. And for this one, the only thing that matters is that you're really fast. If you're not that fast, like this, you're gonna see this pan right here. And this is not because of Pius, but because of this zombie right here, okay? This is the zombie that's interrupting the camera. So, to get this optimally and consistently, the best way to do it is just do it as fast as possible. So, you want to reach this place right here as fast as possible. And as soon as you can, do the R stop and B. And you're always gonna get it if you're fast enough. It's like really consistent when you get the timing. And something kind of cool here is that because you're targeting, you're likely to target this guy right here, which is gonna turn you around just a little bit. And there is more instances of that later. Just a little detail. Then there's the next block. This one is a little bit more tricky. If you turn around too far away from this one, you're gonna get this pan. You want to be a little bit farther. You want to be like around there. What you can do is you can do a turnaround, like a slight turnaround and then target. So that way, what's going to happen is that so you're, you're here. Uh, I don't know if this one does it. No, okay, that one doesn't do it. So that one do it. Okay, so what I did there is I did like a slight turnaround and then R. So I lock on into this guy. So then I'm looking towards the stairs. So I got the, the proper angle. And at the same time, I stop and I grab this thing. So that's kind of the way to go. You do everything really fast, you won't even see the target. But Pius is actually changing target towards the zombie. Another more complicated one is this one, the Gladius. 
So this is the pan that we're getting from the Gladius, okay? This will always happen if you are too close to the Gladius, okay? It doesn't matter where you are uh, on this axis, but if you're too close, it's always gonna pan. If you want to get the Insta Pico, you gotta be a little bit farther away, like this. Because you see the camera is going like kinda towards Alex. It barely goes over Alex. But if you're farther away, the camera won't be able to do that and will snap into it. Now, it's very tight and you're gonna start from here. So you kinda want to run here and get that. So usually you do that after reading this. So right after this cutscene, or rather after this message. So that wasn't good enough. That was actually kind of far, but I need to be a little bit more centered, like there, okay? There you go. So you see, you have to be centered with the camera and the Gladius, and you have to be kind of far away to get it. Next one, this one is a fairly easy one. Is Kareem. There's this statue right here that if you get it from one side, you're gonna get the pan. You want to get the statue and go this way, right? So sometimes you wanna be like greedy and do like a long turnaround. And if you do that, you're gonna get this. So what you wanna do is you wanna go a little bit more centered, like here. And here you can do slight turnaround into a target and that will make Kareem target the zombie on the left. So you will have a very good angle after the pickup. And of course you do that into a pickup. And you see Kareem after the pickup has like the perfect angle to just run this direction. Next one is Paul. So there's the maze here on Paul. This maze right here. If you just run into it and do that, you're gonna get the camera pan. But there's a way to avoid that, and that is by doing the thing from going like a little bit farther away. You wanna go around here. So if you go around there, you see you get the insta pickup. So you're gonna be like farther away between the boxes and the walls, and then you're gonna get it. That seems farther away, right? You don't want to be far away because that's more distance. But the thing is, you actually save time. It's not that far away to lose time with this. You lose more time in the camera pan. And for this, what I kind of recommend is you can either do turnarounds with R, like this. But in scenarios like this, I recommend to do turnarounds with sneak because those actually give like pretty consistent turnarounds. So you go to the corner and then you sneak and then when you're going kind of going back or while you're sneaking you press the thing you can do like the sneak turnaround into pressing B and then you have the good angle there's similar scenarios where that is useful that doesn't involve insta pickups or fast pickups but involve like getting an item where you have to turn around after getting the item or before getting the item Using sneak for that is kind of a good option uh, most of the time. So there's some last instances of fast pickup here on Michael. So the first one is the um, amulet, I think it's called, or talisman, whatever it's called. This thing right here. This one isn't that hard. If you do it from, from here, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it from most places, but there's some spots where you don't get it. So what you wanna do here is you want to get on the way of, of course so the more centered you are the easier it is and you want to do a turnaround with x now to get the good position for that the first thing you want to do is you don't want to mess your movement here you want to enter this ladder not with punches you want to enter with just a target so just enter normally so then when you enter this room you're gonna have like a good turnaround that it's gonna give you a proper angle for this okay so you can go like you saw Michael there doing a turnaround very fast towards this direction. That's kind of important because if you punch this ladder, you might have a hard time here just turning around. You see that that turnaround was like kind of slower because Michael is facing a different position in a different direction. So don't punch this ladder in particular, okay? So that's one thing. 
that helps. Don't punch the ladder and then go here and do the typical turnaround with X and grab the thing. Something I, that I like to do with these things, if you have a hard time going from X to B, because you know, A is in the way, right? So you can't just slide from X to B. So if you have a hard time with that, what I do usually is that I use this finger to do X while I'm turning around. Like I use my, my index finger to press X. So then the thumb can just press B. So I'm turning around with this and I can press B on purpose, on command, I mean. That's what I normally do for this kind of turnarounds. So I can press both at the same time. And I don't have to switch the finger, you know? So that. And actually, after that, you, of course, don't want to punch that ladder again. So, like, you grab the thing, and then you go down normally for the same reason, because you, you want a good angle. So then there's the next one, which is the staff, also kind of hard. So we're going to get the staff here. And for the staff, it's kind of similar to the mace. You have to go farther away to get it. And it looks slower, but it's actually faster because you avoid the camera pan. So if you do it from too far away, like here, you're gonna get the pan, okay? If you do it from the other side too far away, you're also gonna get the pan. And that's kind of slow. So what you wanna do is you wanna go farther away around here. Then when you're there, you do a turnaround and then you press B. Now, that wasn't farther enough. So let's try it again around there maybe that's kind of a little bit far maybe too too far you know but it's fine it works like ideal position would be something like this for me the best way to turn around here is to don't do a sneak but just do a turn around while you run and as soon as you face north here you can press trigger and you're gonna target one of the zombies and of course the target is an easy stop, so you can match B after that. Now it's important that you target after the turnaround, because if you do it before the turnaround, you're gonna target this fucker right here. And that gives you an awful angle to keep running later. Okay? So it's important that you do the turnaround and then target if you want. Sometimes if you're too slow, you might get caught by this zombie right here. The one that is close to Michael right now. If you're slowing your movement here or whatever, you get stuck or something, this zombie is gonna be on your way and you have to circle around. Like circle around the zombie. And at that point, you're not losing time, but you are probably tied with a slow pickup. So you wanna practice this room if you wanna get the fast pickup because it can be a little bit tight. It's not that trivial, let's say. So there I got caught because I targeted one of the zombies that was far away. So yeah, it's like really an option to just don't target if you don't feel confident about it. Because you gotta target like very late in the turnaround. But of course, if you get the target, you get like a very good angle after that. So. That was kind of a long one just for fast pickups, but I want to cover all of them in just one video because it's easier that way. So yeah, that's it for fast pickups.